Hey guys, welcome back. I'm actually playing against my buddy here. Um, we played a couple games uh, in 16, and uh, he's actually a pretty good guy. So I went in two nothing. But this video is gonna be about the legends that I want to see in NHL 17, guys. Now I have 20 legends. I can't get them all in there, but I'm kind of hoping like they do like what they did in MLB, where you kind of get a um, you do a collection where you can get a legend, right? Now they're gonna have the old legends like. Um, Brett Hall and uh, Wendell Clark and Joseph and all that and Burry and all those other ones like Ray Bork and all those guys, right? We just scored a goal there, three nothing, right now. But we'll get back into the legend things though. Now starting at number twenty, I have wrote down here is Steve Eisman from the Detroit Red Wings. Now you can't say that this guy is not a legendary player. At nineteen, he made the team of the Detroit Red Wings and. <coughs> Did quite a bit of uh, great things for the Detroit Wings and won some Stanley Cups and has some good rivalries against Colorado and other great uh, NHL teams. So we got to put him at number 20. I know a lot of people would probably say, well, he should be a little higher, but you know what? There's a lot of guys that, you know, you, know, you could say the same thing, right? But number 19, Dale Haverchuk from the Winnipeg Jets. Cornerstone of that franchise. Took him to the next level. They just couldn't win a Stanley Cup with him, but great player too. So uh, yeah, Dale H Howard Chuck. Now number 18. Um, I have to go back to the Winnipeg Jets. Timo Solani. Timo Solani was one of the best Finnish players out there. Probably even the best. I don't think anyone's really gonna say that anyone's better, but yeah, like one of the best rookies. Uh, they had 76 goals as a rookie, and uh, you know he was famous for that uh, sword uh, deke and the uh, the uh, shotgun shooting in the air with the uh, sword, which you see in the uh, NHL 17 as a as a celebration. But yeah, it's Timo Solani of the Winnipeg Jets at uh, number 17. Now, now I think that. Uh, Oh yeah, so that was number 18, my bad, Eight, 18. Number 17, Ken Dryden. This guy won tons of Stanley Cups with Montreal. He just scored on me, by the way, what a snipe. But yeah, Ken Dryden on the Montreal Canadiens, you gotta put him in the game. Like, there's no one better than him on the Montreal Canadiens all-time goalie list, other than Patrick Wall, but he's already in the game. But yeah, now number 16, Kind of an underrated guy. Never really won a Stanley Cup, but you know he should have won some Stanley Cups. He's on a lot of good teams on the Islanders, Buffalo Sabres, and all that. It is Pat Lafontaine? Now you could go back and look at some YouTube videos of him and uh, the announcer just yelling his name when he scores that game-winning goal and uh, in the playoffs. So you know what? You can still say that this guy is a really good player. Should be in the game, and probably a probably a decent card too. And at number 15, now this guy probably could be a little higher, but you know what? There's a lot of guys in this list that uh, just couldn't fit them all in here. But now he's on the old Russian line of Pavel Bure, Sergei Fedorov. But this guy is Alexander McGillney. Now this guy lights out probably the quickest hands in his day and just all round skillful player like he could do a lot once in Stanley Cups with New Jersey had a lot of good uh, run with those guys and uh, and had his little stint with the Maple Leafs with Matt Sundin but yeah we'll pick him so number 14 we're gonna put Sergei Fedorov another Red Wing guy and one of the three top uh, junior Russian players other than McGillney and uh, Bray they were one of the lethal duo uh, tandem in the uh, World Juniors where they set the record for most points in a game. Now guys, you can't go wrong with putting Fedorov in the game. A lot of guys would love to see him get in the game, but uh, no. only as a Red Wing, not as a Washington Capitol or Anaheim or Columbus. Nope. No only as a Red Wing, guys. No Imagine him going in line with uh, Steve Eisman. Oh, that'd be a 
deadly, deadly line. Or even on the Russian line like Burry and uh, McGillney. That'd be a sick line, guys. So anyways, number 13, very underrated player. Um, I'm surprised that they haven't put him in the game yet, is Paul Correa. Paul Correa is one of the smallest players in the game, but he was very, very good at doing what he was told to do, score goals, and he played with Timo Solani with the Anaheim Ducks. So you know what? One of the biggest tandems in the NHL and oh. played really good too. And this guy was probably the most feared defenseman. You didn't want to walk in his zone and keep your head down because he was going to freaking wallpaper you. It's Scott Stevens. Probably one of the best defensive defensemen out there and uh, one of the hardest ones too. I remember he had Paul Korea in the playoffs and he knocked him right out. And I'm surprised that Korea came back. But uh, yeah, that's Scott Stevens. And number 11. Now you're probably saying, well, why isn't this guy a little higher? He should be number one, but... Like I said, there's a lot of guys that are going to be off this list and probably going to piss people off, but you know what? Bobby Orr, the best all-round defenseman in the NHL, bar none. No one's going to beat him. And if anybody has something to say, let, let me know. Like I like to see you say anybody that's better than Bobby Orr. No one's better than Bobby Orr. <laughs> he set the defense <laughs> Porter Stone so high that he brought in these other guys that played defense that they could actually score goals, not just stay back and play defense. But anyways, guys, we'll go to number 10. Probably the best hockey player in the world. And you're probably saying, well, Wayne Gretzky should be number one. No. I still think this guy is probably the number one player of all time. Gordy Howe. No, he did pass away uh, probably about a month ago or something like that. And uh, would love to see him get in the NHL game in 17. Should be a pretty good card. And uh, number 9. Probably one of the best uh, Swedish players out there. It kind of brought the tables for uh, some other Swedish players like Sundin and Forsberg. Now, I'm going to leave a lot of players off the list here, so you know, don't take it personal. Uh, Boris Salming, he should be in the game. I think it would be nice to see him get in the game and see what he could do. I think it would be a nice, nice card. And his fellow uh, Swedish uh, teammate, um, I know he didn't get to play with him, but he took over... Uh, the least captaincy when Doug Gilmore left, Matt Sundin, he'd be a great, great card to put in the game and one of my favorite cards. But anyways, guys, that's Matt Sundin. We'll get on the list and we'll get down to the nitty-gritty. Maurice Rocket Richard, another great uh, legendary card. He'd be a great fit for the game. And number six, Ed Belfour, only as a Blackhawk. I know he didn't win any Santa Cups of Blackhawks, but he took it take him to the Stanley Cup final against the Pittsburgh Penguins and lost in six games. And number five, Chris Chelios. Once again, another Blackhawk. And another one of the premier defensemen in his era. And number four, probably the best goalie in his, uh, I don't know, generation and decade, Dominic Hasek, guys. You can't argue with this. He was really good in his prime. And number three, probably the best goalie for wins and everything, set the records, Bartan Brodeur. I'd love to see him back in the game. And the last two, not only least and all that, these guys were in the game before, but I'd love to see them back in the game. Mario Lemieux, number two. Um, great card before. Would love to see him get that nice card in there. And number one, Wayne Gretzky. So anyways, guys, let me know what you thought. And let me know what guys that you think would like to see in the game of your favorite players and uh, I'll catch you later and I'll leave some pictures down below after this movie's uh, this video is done so uh, you can take a look at some of the pictures of uh, of the uh, guys I, I picked for 17 anyways guys take care and I'll see you later